Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Northern Kentucky Spotlight Podcast. I'm your host, Sarah Brookbank. Today, we're talking to Matt Staley. He is the owner of Senior Living Locators. He has a really cool new company that is fairly new to Northern Kentucky uh, that talks with seniors and helps place them in homes um, and assisted living, not just homes. I know there's a bad connotation with that. Uh, before we get started, let's thank our sponsors, CVG, our title sponsor, C Crew Consulting, our digital sponsor, and Horan and Heartland bank our episode sponsors. I want to talk to you guys today before we get into the episode about the Northern Kentucky Chamber's affinity programs. I don't know if you guys know about these. These are really wonderful tools that you can use. So they are cost-saving partnerships that the Chamber has with dozens of organizations across the area. We can help you save on banking, health and wellness, HR savings, office supplies, communication, support, and travel. You can save money by gaining access to resources that will help your business run more efficiently while improving your bottom line. It helps you reduce daily expenses, manage operations more efficiently, and keep your businesses growing through the Northern Kentucky Chamber's cost-saving partnerships. The cost-saving partnerships can be easily found at nkychamber.com slash membership slash member discounts. Hopefully you guys find something that's really useful for your business. It's just one of the awesome things that the chamber does for our members. Hopefully you guys can find a member discount that helps your business. Now, before we talk to Matt, let's hear from our sponsors. CVG Airport is the lowest fare airport in the tri-state region with 54 nonstop flights and direct international service to seven destinations, including Paris, France, and now home to both DHLs and Amazon's global cargo hubs. The airport is furthering its position as leader in aviation and is deeply committed to being an economic driver for the community. You can learn more and start your next adventure at CVGAirport.com. Ranking on Google Search and Maps is easy to understand, but hard to do. It requires constant effort and attention, uploading new photos, responding to Google reviews, writing weekly posts, and checking suggested updates. Google listing optimization takes experience and time, and there are no shortcuts. C-Crew gives your Google My Business account the steady, consistent attention it needs to be effective, optimizing, updating, and expanding critical content every single week. From local retail stores to large regional networks, C-Crew generates content, establishes benchmarks, and creates dramatic measurable increases in engagement. So what can C-Crew do for your business? More calls, more clicks, more clients. Each week on the Northern Kentucky Spotlight podcast, we highlight five chamber businesses. Congratulations to our members of the week. You can learn more about these businesses by following the Northern Kentucky Chamber on social media, where we will highlight one of these businesses each day. Now, let's meet our members of the week. Renaissance Covington began in 2003, focused on revitalizing the urban core of Covington. The organization embraces urban activation of public and private spaces, local culture, independent businesses, and creativity to fulfill their mission of amplifying the vibrancy of downtown Covington. The Incubator Kitchen Collection is a nonprofit organization that provides a hand up and a push forward for food entrepreneurs in the Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky region. For over 90 years, Wood and Lamping has provided high quality legal services to a range of clients, including businesses, nonprofit organizations, municipalities and government agencies, and individuals in the tri-state area and beyond. Disabled American Veterans is a nonprofit charity that provides a lifetime of support for veterans of all generations and their families, helping more than 1 million veterans in positive, life-changing ways each year. Structured Technology specializes in commercial design, installation, and maintenance of video camera and card access systems, as well as audio, visual, and sound systems. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Northern Kentucky Spotlight Podcast. I'm here with Matt Staley, owner of Senior Living Locators. Matt, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right. So tell me a little bit about your business. You guys are fairly new. Yes. So I opened this business in January 2020, about two months before COVID hit. So the timing wasn't great. I basically what we do is we help senior citizens and their families find appropriate assisted living memory care options when they can no longer sit, safely live at home by themselves. A lot of times if uh, families need 24 seven care that mm-hmm. gets pretty pricey if you are hiring a private duty agency to come in so 
the more cost efficient way of doing that is lo looking at the assisted living route. So that's what we do. My uh, background is physical therapy. I've been practicing for about 20 years now. I am a geriatric certified physical therapist and practice primarily in the assisted living communities here in Northern Kentucky. And one of the big driving factors for me opening this was I saw a need for this because a lot of my patients I would notice would move into a community and then maybe six to 12 months later we're moving out and basically I kind of got to the bottom of it and they they really weren't being placed appropriately the first time just based on functional uh, care levels budget just a variety of factors that we look at um, and it's a very expensive um, process to move from community to community. So um, we decided to open this and our, the mission of our company is, is to get people to the right place the first time. So we, we hold the family's hand throughout the entire process. Um, I prefer to do an assessment on all my uh, clients. Uh, basically, I'm doing a physical therapy assessment. Um, my wife is part of this uh, company. Her name's Audrey and her background is occupational therapy. So we got the physical therapy part covered, the occupational therapy part covered. So basically we determine their functional mobility and what care levels they will need. So we try to match them up with communities that will be appropriate for them, not only in the present, but I also ask families to consider what is your disease process going to look like in two to three years? What are the comorbidities and what are the functional implications of those? So I ask people to consider that um, and not just think about the present. So yeah. in a nutshell, that's basically what we do. Well, that's awesome. I know that uh, as people grow older, that is one of the bigger concerns. What's going to happen next? Uh, mm -hmm. So it's awesome that you guys have a service that helps people walk through that. What is something that you think sets your company apart from similar companies? Yeah, that great question. So we are unique uh, in this area, at least, in the fact that we are clinical. Uh, we base a lot of our decisions on our therapy assessments, and we take the clinical approach to it as opposed to the people that may be in this industry that do not have that clinical background. Um, we just we really feel like that is advantageous, just because we do understand disease process, we do understand diagnoses, and the, like I said, the comorbidities and the functional implications that come with each, not just with you know today what it looks like today, but what that's going to look like in the future. So, I do feel like that sets us apart. Right. And so you opened at a very interesting time. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. How has uh, COVID impacted your business? And now that we're looking towards the future, do you think anything's going to change? So what we saw, at least what I saw in the very beginning, people preferred to stay home. And I mean, I don't blame them. I would too. Um, but now that the vaccine is out, communities are opening up. Uh, we're seeing a need. More and more people are reaching out and calling. Uh that, that just can't be at home anymore and the families can't take care of them. So they are calling and more and more people are placing into assisted living. So, but yeah, there for the first few months, it was uh, rut road that I make, you know, the wrong decision. Should I go back to practice and therapy? But, you know, I, I, I firmly believe everything happens for a reason and, you know, the timing, it is what it is, but it's, it's worked out great. Well, that's good. And like you said, more and more people uh, are going back to nursing home and assisted living facilities. So mm -hmm. if there is someone watching this podcast, one of our podcast viewers, and say they have an older family member, what are some steps that people can take now when they are thinking about starting these conversations with older family members? I will tell you, nobody wants to have this conversation. It's very difficult. And I actually personally had the experience of placing a family member into assisted living. And to be honest with you, I was surprised at how the lack of knowledge that my family had when it, when it came to assisted living, because they're not all created equal. And the state of Kentucky, there's assisted living, independent living, personal care, memory care, long-term care. And if you're not familiar with the, the industry and the lingo, it's, it's very confusing. And it's a very stressful thing to have to do. I mean, I, for those of you out there listening, if you've ever had to place a family member or loved one, you know what I'm talking about. There's just, there's a ton of options. Um, so I always recommend that at least start the conversation. Um, 
like I said, nobody wants to have the conversation, but, and then again, I always recommend, don't try to do this on your own. Uh, reach out to somebody like myself who's been there and done that and has the experience and we can help take all that stress off your plate. We will schedule the tours for you. We will go on the tours with you. If, you know, if the, if the family requests that we go with them, we're more than happy to go on tours. And so, yeah, just basically start the conversation and it's the best way to just sort of ease into it. Yeah. No, like you said, no one wants to have that conversation. We don't like to think that we're getting older and need more help around the house. So um, I'm going to shift a little bit. So as you have started this company, you're fairly new. What so far has been your greatest success? What's a success story that you can share with us? Honestly, it's just I like the feedback I get from families, okay? Just a lot of, I would say 90% of my intake phone calls, someone on the other end of the line starts crying just because they are so stressed out. They don't know what to do. They don't know what they're looking for. And then just by having me walk them through the process and then by the end of it, just getting the reviews on Google or getting the phone calls or the cards in the mail, just saying, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without this. That is makes everything worth it to me. And I would say that's my biggest success story is just getting the feedback from families. Yeah, that is great. And how many families have you served so far since you've been around? Oh gosh. So let me, let me preface by saying this. I've been doing this indirectly for, you know, know, 20 years because a lot of, a lot of my patients know that I did treat an assisted living. So the, the families that I would treat in their actual homes, you know, those questions would come up and I would help them through that process. It's only till about, you know, like I said, January, 2020, that I've, I've decided to officially do this, but I'm trying to think. So last year and this year combined, we've helped over 150 families place already. So yeah. wow, that's yeah. incredible. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been great. Yeah, that is awesome. And so you guys are a fairly new chamber member um, in being a chamber member, uh, what has been the biggest help for you guys as you guys have started growing more in the community? Honestly, just the connections we're making right off the bat. I'm trying to attend um, the meetings that they have and just immediately the first meeting I went to just meeting people that, oh my gosh, I had a family member. I have a grandmother. I didn't know this service existed. Can we call you? So, you know, just basically networking has been the I has been great so far. Yeah. And on that note, if there are people watching the podcast and they want to get in contact with you and they want to find senior living locators, how can they do that? So they can call me directly. My phone number is 859-547-8925. And I always say, leave me a message or you can feel free to text me because a lot of times I am on the phone or I'm with family. So, but I will get back to you that day. Uh, you can go to my website. It's www.theseniorlivinglocators.com. And we have a form on there you can fill out and it goes directly to me. Great. Well, that is awesome. And then uh, last question for you before I let you go. Uh, if there is anything else that you want our uh, Chamber podcast listeners and viewers to know about your organization, about you and about senior care. Yeah, sure. I mean, I consider myself more of a consultant than anything. It's it's no pressure at all. If you call me, I'm just going to give you advice on the questions you ask me. It's free of charge. I don't charge for my assessments. I don't charge to go out on tours with families. So it's it's really a a low pressure thing to try to take the stress off of the lives of you know the families that are going through stuff like this. So yeah, feel free to call me. Great. Well, awesome. Matt, thank you so much for joining us today. Podcast people stick with us. We're going to hear from our sponsors, Matt. We'll talk to you uh, some other time. And I hope that we have some podcast people reach out to you. Super. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Hi, I'm Shannon Schumacher, account executive, Kentucky market leader. At Haran, we champion bold innovation to help employers and individuals thrive. As an industry thought leader, we explore new horizons in healthcare, benefits, employee engagement, and wellness. We work harder to deliver all the strategic benefits, planning, and execution you expect from a true partner. And we do it with laser focus on your short and long-term outcomes to help manage your benefits while improving your employee experience. Mm-hmm. 
So Heartland is celebrating its 110th anniversary this year. Recently, we partnered with the Kinkle family and the Fisher family in Northern Kentucky, Boone, Kenton, and Campbell counties. And we have three uh, offices there to serve the Northern Kentucky region. Just remember when the economy heats up, come see us at Heartland Bank where banking really feels good. Come on over to Heartland Rare banking feels good Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that conversation with Matt Staley of Senior Living Locators. Hopefully that's a business that someone can reach out to and connect with and get some help with a family member. Thanks again to our episode sponsors, CVG, our title sponsor, Seacrew Consulting, our digital sponsor, and our episode sponsors, Haran and Heartland Bank. If you liked this podcast episode and you've been enjoying what we've been doing so far and you're a Northern Kentucky Chamber member and a lot of ands in this statement, <laughs> and you want to be on the Northern Kentucky Spotlight Podcast, please reach out to Lynn Ablin. You can find her contact information in our staff directory at nkychamber.com. Lynn is also the person that you're going to want to reach out to if you are a person who is interested in becoming a chamber member. We've got a lot to offer from the podcast to networking to those member discounts we mentioned at the beginning of the podcast. Uh, there are so many reasons why becoming a chamber member is a great idea for you and your business. And we hope that you guys reach out and find more about becoming a chamber member. So thanks again. I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a wonderful week.